last year. You had a great weekend at Silverstone, winning, winning two of the races. In This was in British F4. But I remember the second race, I think it was, and you were on pole, was it? And you got you got punted off on the first corner, back of the field, and yep. you managed to get your way up all the way to, to, to third place in that race, which for a race, which is what, four, 14 laps? Uh, you know more than me. I can't remember how many laps. <laughs> um, how, I mean, how do you deal with, I mean, we're talking about mindset today. How do you, You've been knocked off at the first corner. It was in the middle of the... We've got one more race to go afterwards at Brands for the championship battle. You're in the championship battle. How do you sort of reset yourself and and go racing again and, and think, right, I've, I've got a target? How, how do you do that? Well, it's there's no real secret thing I have, no real secret mindset or ritual or anything like that. Mm. Um, I think it's just purely, I'm in the car, I'm there. I can't do anything else and I, you just kind of get on with it really. Um, yeah. You just ignore what's happened and, and just carry on. Uh, I had a good example in Janetta Jr. is a very similar thing. Um, a bit more exaggerated because I was on pole that race in first, my first pole um, and then by turn one I was backwards in the pit lane because I was hit. So um, there I came from, what, what, 20th or something like that back of the Janetta Jr. grid. Uh, finished third in the end of that race. Um, so I think I drew from past experiences from the F4 thing, uh, from the F4 at Silverstone, um, with that race coming from 14th to 3rd. So I think it was kind of a bit of just kind of, uh, it's, it's, it's over with, I've already been, I've already, this has already happened, I can't change it, let's just get on with it and see how many points we can get. Um, and also a bit of drawing from past experiences and being able to use what I've, ha what I've done in the past and the experiences I've had in the past to help me in the future. Um, yeah. So I think, it, I think it's just a mixture of those two, really. Um, but, you know, it's always hard coming back from something that's pushed you that far back down, especially when you're in a really good position to make some points up. Mm. It's really easy just to kind of give up or drive around slowly at the back and not really care. But, you know, I, to be honest, I don't really mind coming from the back of the group. It's quite fun. Overtaking is quite, quite a bit of fun. Um, usually a lot of the time I'm kind of sitting, hopefully, near the top, and it's difficult to overtake because everyone around you is... Um, similar standard but when you come from the back it's it's a little bit easier and it's a lot more fun to try to work your way around them and, and use your your racing knowledge mm -hmm. and your um car control and and all that kind of stuff to try and get back past them yeah brilliant.